Fast, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Anthony? Yep. All right. Let's do this. Awesome. Is that the first thing they're going to hear? It's been a decade without a podcast. Couldn't have had a podcast this last decade. Don't do that joke. And the first words they hear is, mmm, this beer tastes so good in your lips. No. Hello, happy new year. Welcome back to the 2020, first episode of 2020. F-Word podcast, the best podcast you'll never know. Thank you so much for being patient for, what, I think the week we were off? Mm -hmm. Legit week? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Yeah, it was a nice little break, though. It was. There was a lot of shit going on, so it would have been real, real hard to make a podcast happen, families, holidays, all that stuff. But we are back, and we're in the full swing of things. Um. Yeah. Uh, how was your guys's holidays? It's been busy. I didn't even know school starts next week, I guess, like on Monday. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's nice. I was expecting to have a bit more of a break, but that's going on. Mm-hmm. I've been working lots. Lots of religious stuff I've been doing. So, it's, it's just been a, honestly just a packed break, like literally. Just going. Everything's going on. But it's very nice, though. That's good. After finals, it's been a nice break. Vass. Uh, busy, not busy. It's kind of a mixed bag. Like some days it'll be like just sitting doing nothing and I, like, I probably should get something done, but uh, don't. And then other days you're just running like crazy. And so mm-hmm. there you go. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Sure is. Sure is. G. Oh, how was yours? Same old. I, at one point I was like, I, I hope I hope I fucking have just like one day where nothing went on. And that ended up being pretty much not. I never got a full, full day. But at least yesterday was a good chunk of a day where I had very little to do, and I was very happy about it. Yeah. I've, I also finished the original Dragon Ball manga. Oh, and how does ago. that make you feel? Nice. This is the first time I actually ever like saw it. So I only saw about half of the anime, and I just kept getting bored and like never be able to get past this one arc. Right. But now I've been able to say that I've seen the full canon Dragon Ball story play out. And now I get to read Dragon Ball Z. Because Nick bought me the whole manga box set. So oh. I get to like, finish it all in the original form. That's really nice of him. Mm-hmm. That's actually really nice of him. Oh, it's stupid expensive. We got it on sale from Amazon for like about 180 but it sells for 270 Like It's st- stupid. Like, I think it's like 24 books, like individual volumes for Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. Overall, it's like 42 or something. But yeah, it's. I was very happy to get that. That's pretty sweet. I got a backpack that one you see over there and some soundproof foam and i was really happy about Hmm. there's a fuck ton of it though like there's a lot of this foam and i have to figure out what to do with it so has this like walk-in change room Mm -hmm. so she brought it to the condo and it's massive like enough for two people to be in there for sure and enough for one person to actually change and be comfortable in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line the whole fucking thing with the sound foam and uh yeah, have a little quiet booth. But what if you get locked in there? How the good thing is know? it's got a zipper. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's got a zipper, and it's got, like, vinyl on the side. It's almost like a tent. It's essentially a tent, okay. but a much smaller tent, and yet a much larger change room to hmm. go thing. Okay. Yeah, that's that was the extent of it. Um. Yeah, uh, I hope everybody else had a really good like break, a holiday, Christmas, um, uh, Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa. which other ones? What New Kwanzaa. Year's, Kwanzaa, uh, New Year's, mm-hmm. uh, Festivus, anything that you celebrate during this time. I hope it was as good as you wanted it to be. It was a okay, and uh, and now you're back with us. Mm-hmm. Um, as you guys know, or if you remember from last year. I am not a resolutions person. In fact, our first episode of 2019 was resolutions and middle fingers. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was middle fingers towards the resolutions Mm -hmm. um, and people that just can't keep them to themselves. One thing I do want to like mention, I did want to like mention earlier. I just like remembered this. Mm -hmm. I have not seen. I truly want to say, okay, I'm thinking I don't recall ever seeing someone do a new year, new me. Like, put their resolution on their story. Maybe, like, 
I'm not scrounging through Facebook. Like I've been very busy, so it's very like I could have just missed it. But I have not seen like anyone do it, mm-hmm. which is weird because is it just me? Have you guys noticed? Like, have you guys see lots of those posts still? Not as many as they used to. But that's yeah. weird. Kind of just <laughs> more people. Just ha- more people have like reflected on the entire decade. Mm. That's probably the extent of it. As for the resolutions, there's probably a few people that have been public about it more for a laugh than anything. Like they're kind of joking about yeah. it. You having a laugh? Absolutely. But um, are you sick? I don't know. I just got stuffy for some reason. Got sniffles. Got the sniffles. I've had sniffles. Yeah, like, I have sniffles like six or twelve at yeah. once. Um, That's not fun. So yeah, I think sense. most people. I haven't seen too many as as it's been in the past. But uh, I agree with you on that. You yeah, I think goals? it's a mixed bag. I think it's a mixed bag. I've had some people that fucking, for some reason, 2019 was shitty for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they're all like, hey, 2019, big middle finger to you. And then on mm-hmm. to 2020. But they don't do anything. That's One thing I hate is people who say that. So 2019 was awful. It was bad. Because it could have been bad, you know. Like, my first half was rocky. But, like, my second half of 2019, after I realized, you know, I'm kind of tired of being, like, miserable all the time. My second half of 2019 was amazing. It's pretty Flew by fast yeah. as fuck. Yeah. In 2020, my only resolution, keep it going and get like, not get better, but like do more with social media marketing. Like take it the next step, like start getting more yeah. of that. And that's it. But if you like constantly live in that mindset where like my life sucks or I'm sad and you always listen to sad music or, you know, just stay in your room like lots of teenagers do. Of course, you're gonna be sad and like hating your life because that's what you're mellowing in. Yeah, um, I'm of the mind of, uh, if it does suck, make sure you find out that it's because you made it suck. Mm -hmm. Um, Because if it's anything other than you, then it's going to make it a lot harder to, I guess, unsuck yourself. Oh, that Mm, was okay. It makes sense. Um, I did that because last year's first half started off pretty rocky, and then... Now it's like roses comparatively. Oh, no, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, Vass is working on the master list. He actually did the homework assignment. The homework assignment that I kind of said to do. Something different? I, it was much easier. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he You're went like a teacher's in. pet who like goes all over the way. Like, just, you know, write a sentence. You like have MLA, essay. Not even a bit. I don't know, I, man. This I is very with two movies. This is very like because it's subject related. It's Listen, very circumstantial. I would never do this for uh, too many other things. By that's any means. good. Can you know why? Because comparatively, I did not do that at all. I have it in my head, but then I'm th- I keep crossing over my years and stuff. So that's a hard part. And of course, I'm talking about some lists. We're gonna be running down some lists of like movies from the past decade. Um, we're not gonna go past 2010, I don't think. No. Um, and then from last year, you know, typical New Year stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's like well, best common. and worst of 2019. Yeah, and like the, just, the usual, decade. the usual stuff. And then we can uh, we finish the Mandalorian, all of us. Yep. Yes, uh, we got that. Uh, have you seen The Witcher yet? No. Okay, I've watched it twice, Vass. I've watched it twice in a row. Two times in a row as well? Yep. Okay. Um, what else we have? We'll do the Star Wars ranking stuff because mm-hmm. obviously we saw nine. We could probably do like a full-blown spoiler review, yeah, probably. like well, a smaller one. We were going to do one to release last week, but I was like, eh, fuck it. And then uh, we got some other shit. So uh, we're going we're gonna to fill this, fill this episode to the brim mm-hmm. for your listening pleasure, if you will. So we'll be starting off with. Um, you know what? Let's start off with. Well, you still rank. Oh, you know what's really funny? Star Wars rankings. I haven't done that yet. Do you remember? No, twenty years ago, how old were you? Not. I'm born. not born. Okay, so this is how fucking funny twenty years ago was. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone was worried about Y2K, mm-hmm. and it was a thing. And ask your if you're uh, if you're under twenty or if you're like let's say I don't know twenty five and under you brought, you may not remember this but there was a time where everyone thought the world was going to mm-hmm. end in two thousand and it was real funny wasn't it like, because of like the computers or something like how it would like nineteen ninety nine like what is it going to roll over to everyone thought that the computers are going to crash everything was going to crash the lights were going to go all out sorry um, we had just I think dial up was on the verge of showing up because there was some technology there. 
uh, even though the internet really broke through. I think it's 94 was when it really broke. Yeah, so, oh, it was already out, yeah. So, but we, it was still dial-up. Like, some. Some yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. Um, but everyone thought that there's just going to be this, like, huge collapse of the technological system. Were you guys also a part of that, like, people I was, that... I was no. 10. No, okay. I don't, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was 10 years old. You were 8. Wait, 2010? Yeah. 2000. You no, 2000, sorry. Oh, 2000. Yeah. Oh. Well, sorry, I was 11, because I'm 31 now. Yeah, yeah. That would have been nine or ten. Yeah. Um, anyways, it was just really funny. And I think it's just funny. We were talking about that at your place during New Year's. It's like, does anybody remember when we're all freaking the shit but the yeah, hell out? every ten years, they have another like natural disaster where the world's going to end. And it's like, yeah. 2012, it's going to end. 2013? I don't even fucking think the lights have flickered. No, like I had, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. It was so Wasn't it was it, like, it was really funny thinking about it now. Back then I had no idea what was going on. But yeah, hopes. I was like, oh shit, the world's gonna end. That sucks. But it didn't. But there was a time where we thought that was the case. Multiple times. Well, I think the other times were legit though. It happened like, last I think when Stephen Hawking died, he predicted it was gonna end like the year after he died or something, and everybody was like waiting, waiting, mm-hmm. waiting, then April passed. I think it was sometime in April, and here we are. I think the only legitimate time where that was actually true was during the Cuban Missile Crisis, where it literally could have destroyed the entire world or at least an entire continent mm-hmm. if they decided to fucking, you know, go off and start firing and shit. That could happen any time. It still could happen. So many. Yeah. There's apocalypse to disarm them. Yeah, there's there's way too many EMPs, but I don't know. See, now a lot of that stuff has the fail safe where it won't actually blow up. Yeah, I think yeah. they were saying something about like. The missiles back then, if you were going to render them useless, there was something in them that would actually cause them to self-destruct. Hmm. Whereas now, a lot of the stuff that we have, you can turn it off without having to worry about it, especially like the radioactive hmm. stuff. Yeah. But anyways, I thought that was just really funny. Anthony, also, I have here your legal problems. Yeah, so I found this super funny. I Because it's so weird how like he had no idea about any like background information. But essentially, uh, I think I talked about this a bit around the time when I did this, but like nothing came out of it. It's just one thing that really annoys me is when people go on Snapchat mm-hmm. and will post a blank story saying like a black screen saying nobody Snapchat me. Like only real ones know what's up, you know, seriously, like it's just, like cry for help. Right. And I was always mm-hmm. curious, do people actually like fall for, I don't say fall for this, but do people actually like respond? Yeah. So I did it for a short bit myself. Just like I made sure it was you were like responding or you were, putting no, I just posts. posted it on my story. Oh, okay. And, Every time someone asked me what was happening, I would only respond with, I'm sorry, legally, I cannot respond. Uh-huh. So I kept doing that. And for about, like I was up for about 30 minutes and I took it down. And I never really thought anything about it because I just tell some people that responded afterwards, oh, I was just screwing around with you. Like, it was a yeah, joke. Yeah. Uh, this Earlier this week, this one guy who I hadn't talked to since like grad came up to me or he just texted me saying, hey, man, also, what was what's up with the legal issues like earlier in June? Because he also messaged me. But he just stopped responding after I kept saying the same thing over and over. And I said, oh, you know, it was nothing. I was just screwing around. And he said, oh, I had a theory. So he thought me and G were in a legal battle over entertain facts. Wow. <laughs> and that legally I could not respond because it would, like, cause me to lose the account. Even yeah. though at the time it was deleted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. legally your lawyer had said, do not comment <laughs> on anything. Yeah. <laughs> and I just thought it super funny because... <laughs> you know, that's super plausible at the end of the day. You I, never I, said, know. I told him, I said, you weren't far off. Like, a year or two ago we were having, like, some of these issues. But that's hilarious. I just found it super funny because, like, he had no idea that we had those issues in the past. And he was oh, like... Okay. If anything, it'd be over... F word, that, yeah, not right. entertain facts because that's like one thousand percent yours and a thousand percent dead and a thousand percent dead. What is that? That's, so, that's actually really funny. You should have ran with that. You should have told me. I would have like totally. I would have gotten somebody to dress up in a suit <laughs> that obviously wasn't vast. I would get Nick. I get Nick to show up in a suit with some legal documents, <laughs> and you would accidentally spill the beans during school, and then he would come in and make you sign this affidavit and non or an NDA mm-hmm. or something, and then like just walk away. Like I don't say anything; I just sit there with my arms <laughs> crossed, and we make it a thing. Oh man, that would have been so good. Have a whole storyline, uh, like uh, WWE. It would have been an entire thing. Yeah. Oh, and then we end it off with a WWF word special where we actually duke it out in a ring. You walk in RKO out of nowhere in the middle of the class. My teacher looks around with a thirty-year-old guy who just walks in, assaults her student. Then I'm at work. You take a chair and you beat mm. it or bash it over my head. This Sunday. Me, you, entertain facts on the line. See? Wow. It would be the story to end all stories. 
That's how we end it. For, at we least set it up. Us. Me and G will train for wrestling, and that's how, if this ever ends, and we know it's going to end, we yeah. end with a WWE F-word mania. Yeah, you'd probably beat me because I have the stamina of an 80-year-old man at this point. But I haven't so. worked out since August, so I feel like you'd have the physicality on me. No, I think it's just the weight. Like, I would just have to, like, go dead weight while you're trying to, like, lift <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah, so you know that one Greek dance move I did with my, like, I go all the way back on my knees? Yeah. That's my knees are still screwed up from that somehow. It still hurts. Yeah, probably. Mine start hurting now. Is it just, that's just it? I just screwed it up? Well. Uh, you never know. You got to stretch. It's the way that you do it and the fact that I did no it stressing. wrong. Michael told me I was doing it wrong. And that's why. Yeah, because yeah, he's fine, right? Oh, it still hurts. I just, I, w- I went straight back. Like my knees, my legs were straight. And he said I have to angle it out so I don't go on my legs. Yeah, I'm basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the, and also like you don't have the entire weight of your, le- of your body going on your heels, which is driving your foot. Fully. Yeah, it's, there's a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then the, the older you get, the actual the worse they hurt. Because right now, when the weather turns, like everything hurts. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Okay, all right. Wonder Woman three not coming anytime soon after the second one. That's fine. That's fine. What was it? A couple of years before the last one? I think twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. So yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Ju- been, yes, it was. Basically, be three years then. Mm-hmm. So we won't get one for another three type type no, of thing, or not even even longer. Oh, like okay. she's not Man even. Of Steel she's not even thinking of it. Interesting. It might be like. Can you, can you imagine if she waits another ten years? Huh. Well, I mean, if she doesn't need to, like, mm. honestly, well, it's or she wants to set it in nineteen ninety one, so she waits the pro- appropriate amount of time from nineteen eighty four to nineteen ninety one, and then drops a new Wonder Woman. That actually be cool because it'd, it'd be stupid. It'd be kind of like, oh, but it'd be kind of like not. I don't know why nineteen ninety one would be it, like even just nineteen ninety, right? Mm. Then it would just be like six years or something. Nineteen ninety nine, where Wonder Woman's trying to save the world and actually stops Y two K by riding the lightning mm. into the power grids to keep it going. <gasps> Basically, I'm surprised how many people are not on board for that lightning swing. Well, I thought that was dope as fuck. Yeah, I don't know how it's plausible, but who cares? She's, this, she's, she's a, a demigod. This ro- yeah. Yeah. She's a demigod. She's a demigod born from Zeus, and that lasso tell- makes people tell the truth. I'm pretty sure she can make it happen. She's yeah. an invisible plane, and you're worrying about her riding on lightning. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, and I, I also I, the only get your heads out of your asses. Yeah. The only <laughs> tough part would be like, oh, the plausibility of all of them lining up just perfectly. <laughs> that, but maybe. she's creating it. Is she? Is she? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, she's Spider Man. No, You're telling me she's got to wait she for a can't storm? She create the, the lightning she's itself. daughter of Zeus. No, but she's never established in any of the lore, I don't think, that she's able uh, to. I think I she, don't know enough Shazam is much. the only one I think that. Then maybe could. Zeus is helping her out. You don't know that. I think it's Shazam that has. Like, Shazam just has the one Shazam, and that's it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, where, there's one. There's one um, hero or villain that. I remember playing in Injustice, like the first one, hmm. and he his moves were like Bolt of Zeus or this of this or Hercules. It'd probably punch be Shazam or then, because he has all the gods' names. Yeah, but I, I don't just don't know. know enough about any Shazam or Wonder Woman. Yeah, either way, I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, <laughs> Deadpool three at Marvel Studios are making it happen. It's mm-hmm. gonna be R rated. Yep, probably good. That's good. No one, I don't know if I'm that surprised, but there was the talk that it was gonna be at Hulu instead. Or De- oh. Crave or something that Deadpool was going to be like off site. I believe that is true. Like not off site, just like uh, for streaming service wise, that all Foxes and like all the new properties that are rated mm-hmm. R will go to Hulu, not Disney Plus. Okay. Um, Uncharted movie loses Travis Knight due to scheduling conflicts with Tom Holland. Spider Man Three. I was actually a little bit upset with this, and the reason is I liked Bumblebee quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man. Then when I finished, I'm like, wait a minute. This is the guy that's supposed to do Uncharted. He could do a really good job with it. And I, I still think he can. Uh, so it's kind of kind of shitty that that well, they, I don't know, because they keep pushing this back. Oh, man. Because Sony yeah. keeps like, A, they got their director. And they said, sorry, man. We're filming Spider-Man now. So, like, see ya. Right. But I guess Travis, I don't know. Because if he, I guess, could line up in the future. Because Tom Holland can't film Uncharted. Obviously, because he's filming Spider-Man now instead. Right. And possibly Venom. Apparently, mm-hmm. he's going to supposed to have a small cameo mm-hmm. in that. Which has to connect. Well, I think he will, because he has to connect it somehow now. They might even not connect it at all. Or I'm pretty they sure might... they were leaning towards, like, they were going to do it. Right. Oh, I guess so, because, I mean, Far From Home was pretty epic, and it finished in a really cool way, mm-hmm. like, where his cover is blown. So there is that. I don't know. Bass? Hey. Hey. I just don't yeah. know how Venom could get incorporated, though. Because from Far From Home's cliffhanger. Oh, it was amazing. Because yeah. Venom 2 comes out before Spider Man 3. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. So how like is it going to be? Because I don't know. I, I think they're going to have to set it up in Venom too. Because it's basically you can move this down. It seems like you're really stretched. No, it's fine. I, I had a good. Oh, okay, just you can move Jesus. it back, Jen. I'm sorry. Okay. No, oh, perfect. Anyways, um, I think it's possible. I think Venom Two has to set it up though more than anything in order to get him involved in somehow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But to what capacity? Because I think it is focusing on Venom and Carnage. Uh, yeah, so you don't, don't want to have Spider Man do like the Iron Man thing where he kind of is the linchpin or the reason why everyone's going to go see it. Like, you know how no. in Spider-Man Far From... not. Uh, Hulk, I think they I mean? shouldn't say anything. They shouldn't credit to Tom Holland. It should be a cameo at the end of it to say that he's coming into it. I don't know as an ally of Venom or the enemy of Venom. Because I know yeah. you said in one of the comics they work together to be Carnage. Yeah, there's like a whole... So does run. Venom maybe lose? Not die, but lose? And therefore, has to, he seeks out this the other web slinger to help him out somehow? I think it has to be more of a... Venom fights Spider Man. Okay, and then and go then from... Venom fights Carnage, and then Venom and Spider Man fight Carnage. Like build yeah, it up he, that way. Unfortunately, you can't. They've already established Carnage is the next villain, right? No, I know, but if but if also whatever they have with him. Oh might be wait, small. I could play to that side too now because Spider Man's painted as a villain because exactly. Venom is a hero in this universe. Oh yeah, Spider Man is a fucking dick in like yeah, but no one knows about Venom technically. But no, yeah. but Venom might know about Spidey. Well, for sure. Because Ma- they want Madam Web. I heard they want a Madam Web movie. Mm. And she's kind of like, she could connect the universes, I think. That would make the most sense. Yeah. So she, yeah, she could literally be the web that connects mm-hmm. the whole thing together. I <laughs> think it'd be better just as an end credit scene. And like, because again, Spider Man's already set up. I don't know how he'd cross universes to Venom and then go back and kind of like, my identity got revealed, but I fought this guy from another universe and now I'm back. Yeah, he might just say, hey, like, we know you've been a hero, but now you're on to our side. Or a post credit scene would be cool if it's like all you see is Spider Man's head, and then all of a sudden the black symbiote, like going on, like it looks like it's consuming his head, but you don't know if it's Venom that's consuming him with like by squeezing his yeah. neck, or the symbiote is actually consuming him, and we get the black Spider Man suit. Hmm. That would be I would be happy with that yeah. one. They where it leaves it as a Spider Man three. Burger. Oh man! Black symbiote, Spider Man, and Craven do have. I think Cra- Craven's last stand is that one. I'm pretty mm. sure the storyline. Yeah, that'd be sweet. So I guess mm. if they want Craven, I don't know if they have him for Black Panther two. That's the rumor. So you know what? I kind of wish they didn't have David Harbor uh, in the Black Widow movie, so he can play Craven because I think he'd be a pretty good Craven. Yeah, I don't know. Don't think so. Well, I just see Craven as like a sl- like not like as a like really like shredded guy, black mm-hmm. hair, like Colombian. Well, I mean, like look at uh, him in with his Hellboy. But I guess it would be good to have a guy that's actually like super jacked that way, mm-hmm. but that can act. Mm-hmm. Huh. That'd be interesting. Going back to Wonder Woman real quick. Do it. So I looked it up. So there's a rebirth era of the DC universe in 2016. And Wonder Woman has been using a magical lightning boat as part of her arsenal of powers. Hmm. So, oh. it's, so it's part of a, not the old style lore, but it's the new stuff. So I think she has the capability to call the lightning uh, and use that. So ride the lightning. So maybe it's a thing, part of her new suit. Maybe her new suit grants the her this golden ability. Golden eagles. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, Armor. you you, can, you gotta. She's a demigod. She's gotta have some extra capabilities. Wait, exactly. No. That, when you so, like mentioned that she was it. doing it, it wasn't yeah. like, oh, that's stupid. It's like, okay, makes sense. Like that. Yeah, that's it's plausible. Yeah. At the end of the day. Hey man, we're talking about comic books here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Anything. So, somehow, Steve. Is it Trevor gonna be entertaining? Back. Yep. Okay. Good enough. And on here, it's quite factual. <laughs> Um, Riding lightning. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> well, more, more than the news. Uh, Keanu Reeves is changing the. Uh, oh, this is going to be something different. Kevin Feige says that Scarlet Witch is the strongest Avenger. I'm okay with that. Yep, makes yeah, sense. I would say so. She just hasn't She's, tapped her full potential, basically. Yeah. Except maybe in that Ooh. moment with her and Thanos in Endgame. Oh, she almost. She would have taken yeah. him out. That was she would have taken well, him well, out. Well, he actually he did say. That. Was that? I saw a video where that was from, and yeah. Kevin Foggy said, "Yeah, she would have if Thanos didn't like rain fire. Yeah. He sure. would have been dead. For he sure. knew that for a fact." He's like, I honestly think more so than uh, she who shall not be named, <laughs> who got punched in the fucking head in the middle of the battle. But no, well, in did Thanos Ultron, touch her? no, no, she okay. had no. She he had nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Ultron. What I, what was really cool? What I noticed a couple times after watching it, like when she was destroying the robots, she was only pulling them apart. Yeah. But by the end of Ultron, when like Quicksilver died and she felt it, she eviscerated them. Mm-hmm. Like, she's unreal. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm fully behind that, and I think it's like all sorts of like yeah. I I don't think there's a single person 
uh, like in that entire battlefield that could actually beat Scarlet Witch. Yeah. I think she could take all of them down. Yeah, she only gets blindsided at best. Yeah. At best. Or blinded by love. Another thing that relates is the Scarlet Witch or Vision and the WandaVision. WandaVision is coming out next year or 2020. This year, oh, actually. Cool. 2020. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got released or got moved up. That'll be interesting. So that's the first Disney Plus MCU show. Or is it going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier? Ooh, is that this oh, year? Man, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't eat. We're already, I mean, we're already in 20. We're, I don't know when they're all supposed to go. I think we said, didn't we say that it was like March for Falcon and Winter Soldier or no? Well, they're filming already. So actually, that's probably plausible. Depends. Uh, well, I don't see well, anything. It depends till... if they're doing weekly uh, I think releases. Because if, let's say at best, something comes out s- summer? I would say like August. And then they have one close. You think August something will come out? Well, if one of the two. They already or finished both? Mandalorian season two in November. Yeah, yeah. and it's releasing what? And like yeah, fall of twenty, but that one's obviously more like CGI heavy for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say around summertime probably be a good estimate because it. You know what? To that point though, it is, but it also isn't. Like there, there's enough practical effects there that doesn't like. Even Baby Yoda is, but like even just a world animation like, for or like not animation, but puppet Marvel shows. Yeah, it's a puppet. It's yeah. a yeah puppet. Yeah, but for Marvel shows, like they can be on Earth and it's whatever. But for like Star Wars, there's like the space shit, and like they have to alter some background and stuff like that. This the towns or whatever mm-hmm. have to look a certain way. Yeah, there's definitely more production value on them. I guess we can go into that. How like that season finale was pretty good. I got spoiled. Like I wasn't mad. The Dark Saber was the only thing I knew. Oh man! But I was really was happy because for New Year's, uh, I came like late because I was at work. And my brother and the Cletus boys were watching the end, and I just saw like the Dark Saber at the very end. I'm like, oh. Okay, that's cool. Like, at least I know because I just assumed he was just the main villain. Like he right. used it in the episode. Yeah. At least I wasn't like because I was waiting for it to see it the whole time. But I was like happy and finished the prison riot episode because I was watching it late at night and this it didn't give me a seizure, so I stopped. <laughs> but it was actually like really good. The second half, like the last three episodes, were like really good. I I agree. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, four and five seem to just try to get us somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I mean, they were more character mm-hmm. development and a little bit more into Mando's. Or uh, D- Din Din Jin Din Jin, Jin what's yeah. his name? Mm-hmm. Something yeah. like that. Din Jaden. Din Jordan. Din Jordan. I was surprised they unmasked him. Yeah, uh, and I'm surprised how little hair loophole. he has for a guy that's been under a mask. <laughs> I mean, that means that must means he takes it off to shave. Well, he does every At time night. he showers, yeah, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Just not in front of people. Right, that's what it was. Maybe he did in front of Baby Yoda too. You don't know that. Mm. Well, I feel no, because I feel like with the robot, he was like no. Mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like with Baby Yoda, I don't think he'd change it. And the robot was... That that interaction with him and the robot, I really liked throughout the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like He's less racist. I guess to droids. Mm-hmm. If they are sentient beings. I only had one like complaint. Or just like wonder. Because he said, ah, there's, I need to get someone to watch the kid. Yeah. There's only one person I trust. And I thought, oh, cool. He's going back to that one girl who literally watched the kid. Mm-hmm. And he went back. I was in mind him going back to the first guy. But I just, I don't know. I just thought that was a weird... Because I like the girl. I don't know if it was just me. Yeah. Like yeah. in the Legend episode or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. That's but I thought point. overall, it was like, I'm surprised. Because, again, I thought it was going to suck ass. I thought I was going to, like, just not hmm. care for it. And it was... The whole series? I don't know. Just overall, like, leading up to it, I wasn't excited for it. I wasn't, yeah. like... I just expected it to be mediocre. And listen yeah. to, like, a basic CW show, honestly. But, yeah. No, it's pretty good. I was surprised that all the rest of the Mandalorians got just rocked. Holy yeah. crap. I was like they're done again <laughs> oh man and like i mean even even off-screen deaths are a little cheap sometimes but yeah. that was pretty sick like all their helmets there mm-hmm. and then the leader was there mm-hmm. and she ripped shit like she ripped that room apart that was Basically. sweet Jeez. yeah and then that dark saber thing was pretty cool does anyone know what that is because I, uh, I read up something I don't know. I don't know why coworkers they keep talking about the Clone Wars and like you gotta watch the Clone Wars. It's, it's something like, like, I don't want to watch the fucking Clone Wars. But apparently yeah, I, they explain it. I heard that yeah, the Clone Wars, the animated series, actually answers quite a few questions. Like between. season one, they say answers the Dark Saber. Oh. Yeah, Origins of the Dark Saber. What is this? This is an ad. This looks like an ad. I don't want it. When the average person on the street thinks of Star Wars, whatever, the some lightsabers are created to expand the wielder's combat options. The double blade saber opens up a whole range of additional possibilities for those who know how to use it effectively. Um, the dark saber is characterized by a unique black plasma blade, flat and thin, shorter than the conventional saber blade, and shaped at the end into a curved, tapered point. 
It resembles a sword. No shit. <laughs> Additionally, dark saber emits a higher pitched hum than the average saber. So instead of a, whoa, 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 this one's like, whoa, 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 whoa. right? Am I right on that one? Sure. And probably. it sometimes emanates an electrical like crackle when it comes into contact with another blade. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's a unique weapon. Uh, not a style that can be imitated. Uh, it can only be won only by besting its owner in combat. Hmm. And it has something to do with the creator it's Terra kind of like Vizsla. The Elder Wand. Oh, a human male from the planet Mandalore. It be- Like the creator of that was from the planet Mandalore, which is something. So there's only a few of them in existence, basically. Kind of yeah. Thing. First Mandalorian to be inducted into Jedi Order. Did anyone else kind of think, and that's why I was I don't know what the timeline is, that it was Boba Fett or Jango Fett that saved him when he was a baby? Yeah, I was, I, was like, I was like looking. I paused. I'm looking around. I'm like... No, I don't think that's him. I was hoping they didn't. I'm like, I really mm. hope they don't do the Boba Fett or like yeah. Jango Fett. Like, just leave them out. You don't need them. Yeah, for a second, I well, got. Well, they're them. not even true Mandalorians. Mm. Jango they sold himself out for mm. how much money probably to clone himself. Basically, mm. I have a question though. So, if it said the guy who made the dark saber was from planet Mandalore, this is would what, that yeah. mean that a Mandalorian like that would that mean the one in the group that because he killed them all, right? Um, would a group or someone underground would have had the dark saber? He was the first. He was the first Maybe. Mandalorian to be inducted into the Jedi Order. Shit! Uh, with this powerful dark saber at his side, he became the ruler or Mandalore of his home planet. Interesting. Um, oh, and I guess we got introduced to the fact that the Jedi aren't like people look at them and really weird. Like they're not mm-hmm. necessarily the good guys. They're not the bad guys. It yeah. doesn't matter. So I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Like th- they mentioned Jedi. Yep. But they didn't go any further. Mm-hmm. But they knew that Baby Yoda had to go to them. Mm-hmm. Like that's where he was supposed to be. Yeah, that was that was a nice. I thought that was a really smart, very low key way to just mm-hmm. mention that. Hey, these things, this thing exists. Well, for season two, I read an article saying that uh, they bring lots of legends from the Skywalker saga into season two of Mandalorian. Okay. Oh, so whether that means that. like if they have the dark saber. I don't know if they're going to bring any lightsabers. They would have to. Would Mark Hamill be... I don't know. I think Mark Hamill would be... No. You know why? a choice? Nope, because he's going to play Vesemir in The Witcher Season 2. That's what's going to happen. I'm so on board don't for know. him doing He'll that. be mentioned in name at best. Mm-hmm. And because, again, it's still what within that is, same timeline. Which time? Okay, where this exactly is, is it again? This is after Return of the Jedi, right? This is after Return of the Jedi. The Empire's fallen. Okay. And it's coming... Uh, I think the I don't know how how far Mandalorian is supposed to go, but it might be basically to, uh, where the first order starts happening. Gotcha. Which so it hasn't obviously it hasn't established yet. Yeah. But it eventually grows to the size that it does for episode yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Basically. Okay. So it has an end end point for it, and it depends how many seasons it'll take to get to that point, okay. and where their storyline will fall, and like all these people die, maybe who knows? We have no idea. Also, some people didn't like the opening. I really liked the opening. I thought it was hilarious, and the fact oh, yeah. that I found that the Taika Waititi directed it, I'm like, is even better. Oh yeah, that and like it was good. Jason Sudeikis. You said, and who's the other person? Oh, I can't remember. Jason Sudeikis was the one of the guys on the on the speeders, mm-hmm. and, and I thought it was hilarious that they shot at the fucking thing and they missed. I thought that they was so. Missing. Good. I was like, God damn! Some people just get it. I I heard a lot of people were complaining. Oh, they hate them because he he killed the other dude. I get it. I heard they were complaining because they abused the child, and it's like, okay, who, who these guys this? are like the Nazis. Like you. By the understand. way, that child can tear a person apart. Mm-hmm. So pretty sure he's fine also he just randomly started choking someone like the child is not like yeah let's a, let's just relax here whoever says he's that. oh he's okay he's not hurt physically. yeah he lifted a f- monster in midair mm-hmm. with his three fingers okay let's just let's just chill with that shit uh so that was awesome you oh i guess since we saw star wars episode nine we can kind of do a brief spoiler review of it mm-hmm. i liked it didn't love it didn't hate it, it was first deece. time i loved it Second time, it was like, it was really weird because my sense of time, like, it was just so late where I just thought the movie was, like, super long. Like, by the time Ray, Finn, and Poe were going on their adventure, Mm -hmm. in my head, the first viewing, I thought that was halfway through the movie. And it's, like, the first 20 minutes because I was watching it before work today. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah, it's a long time. But I liked it a lot. Like, I thought it was still like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, like, the ending, 
first time I watched, I noticed it was like very similar to Endgame. Dude, they had Endgame envy during this. Very much so. There was you might as well have had yellow rings and portals show up yeah. when everybody else does. It's happening. And too. you might as well had Ray summon the entire power of the Force in a glove made from I don't know the Force, the Force, and then snap. She might have well snapped. But I thought, like overall, like I I know it's the same ending, but I'm like, you know what? The same company made it at the same time, like a director that's been involved in many Marvel. Yeah, movies it's like okay, whatever. It. Like of course, no, it'll be JJ similar. wasn't involved in many Marvel movies, has he? No, I don't think so. Did he not do something? Has no, he not done? He's never touched it. Really? He was doing Star Trek. I thought he did a Marvel movie. Mm-mm. Never mind then. Whatever. But yeah, no, I thought overall it was good. Like I'm not a hardcore Star Wars fan, so I know. Some people were mad that they ruined the lore, but I don't care because I don't know the lore. Yeah, I thought it was entertaining true. as this, hell. I don't know lore. what lore they can have to talk about because they're they're. I think Anakin they're not cre- being the chosen one. I think that's that's the big one I heard. They're creating a new addition to it. They're creating new lore to add to it. At the end of the day, they're just writing new stuff just because it doesn't doesn't push anything what they've already done away. Mm-hmm. It's just adding to it personally. Not add like okay, some people don't add to value, but. They're just expanding the story, expanding the lore. So to say it's not part of it, well, no. If anything, they're giving us more because now we see all the force, mm-hmm. uh, like powers from all of them and stuff. <laughs> like some brand fucking new ones, though. Exactly. They, no, but like they added some new ones here that was just like healing. You just added this for this movie. We had no idea any of like that. My gripe with some of it is that like. Not only was Ray OP pretty much in the first one, but like she somehow has the powers that none of the uh, other Jedi had. And again, you can chalk it up to well, they never showed it on screen. Oh, wait. But eh. I noticed this. And I don't know if it was just me like tripping or what, but I think it was Episode Seven. The child force healed someone. Did he not? Like one of the people? Like oh, yeah. he just touched. Oh yeah, Mandalorian. Yeah. Like I'm was that? Sure. Is he's that, the, like, he's done sure that the he whole did. time. But that's the second time. But no, no, no. I, like, I that's been it. seen. Because I yeah, think yeah, Ray yeah. did it first. Like, that was the first time I saw it. Yeah. And now they're doubling down. putting. I just found that interesting. Well, now they're adding it as part of the yeah, canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because she was so good at it out of the blue. like, And we never had an inkling that she learned this stuff. Mm-hmm. That it's just like, oh, how did so, you know? There was one theory that was just posted when uh, The Force Awakens came out. Okay. This guy called Ray being a Palpatine. Okay, he's yeah. Talking, Lots of like, people did, yeah. He was saying, A, like the fighting style and how Palpatine mm-hmm. would always like learn new like abilities and like tricks on the fly as he fought. Yeah. And like Ray seemingly could do that. Yeah. Because when he was fighting Kylo Ren or when she was fighting Kylo Ren, she kept yeah. like adapting, learning, shit like that. So I know it's like... Well, she's overpowered and she's like a Palpatine. It's kind of like a dumb excuse, but it's kind of like it seems like it could be plausible. Well, it is the now. Thi- it's, no, it's, no I mean, but the thing plausible. is, it happened. Personally, for myself, I don't need to have seen that power have happened. Oh, then they're going to use it. Mm-hmm. What's to say she hasn't learned it from another Jedi? It doesn't mean every Jedi can do it necessarily. I understand, but what I'm saying, this is where it kind of comes down to like some gripes I have with certain movies where it's but like... But you want to see everything. That's your thing, right? I don't want to see well, everything. What's a fair point. I want to like... see one piece of connective tissue so it's not completely out of the blue. For instance, I had no problem with Kylo Ren pulling a lightsaber from his back. Mm-hmm. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because they had two interactions in The Last Jedi, and sorry, three, and in the third interaction in, in The Last Jedi on different planets, they ended up creating some type of a connection mm-hmm. through the fucking Force. That is one little piece of connected tissue that allows me to buy mm-hmm. the pull-through. Now, is it a little bit of a stretch? Sure, but then they also had that fight in his office or whatever, his change okay. room or his bedroom. So I don't need to see everything. I need to see that this wasn't just some random deus ex machina move that they're going to throw in. Where it's just like out of the blue. Uh, com- not not the fact that it needs to be explained, but never even like this. Was, it was never a thing. When it's not a thing and you're trying to make it a thing without connecting it to anything, then it's not a thing. It's just you guys just being like, hey, you know what would be cool? If they could do this. Realistically, the force can give you anything you want to do. Before well, the force wise. binds all life, though, like they say. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I'm that. just saying, like it's plausible. I like, agree. I, like I'm not. Cutting all your I points. needed them to do was maybe I during am. her training. <laughs> I think it's plausible. Maybe <laughs> during her training, to like with Luke, to maybe bring a plant back to life. 
Hell, they fucking showed that in The Witcher, where the mages can't actually conjure magic out of nothing. Mm-hmm. It has to come from somewhere. So they had this little thing. Here's a rock. Here's a flower. Have your rock go across the way with your magic. And the one girl tried to do that, and then her arm ended up being like destroyed. Why? Because you have to take it from somewhere. So when they held the flower... They grab, they harness the energy or the chaotic, chaotic power from the flower to move the rock. That is connective tissue that it's like, oh, damn. So the one, you haven't seen it, but there's one thing that goes on where one mage tries to do something really big. She pretty much kills herself <laughs> because of the fact that she wasn't harnessing it from somewhere else. So in this case, my gripes with some of that stuff, which, again... I know your style. Your style is like, but that's how it's like, man. The world is like that, man. Sometimes people just have these things, man. I get that. No, you but, don't. <laughs> no, I do. It's just no. It's just lazy, and it's cheap. Meh. So I get it, one hundred percent. I just find it lazy and cheap. Four ceilings, the like the smallest in- uh, thing about it. Anyway, why would that be so? Uh, like, I don't need to see that ever in the Lord to know that. Why couldn't that? Why couldn't you someone use the force to heal someone or heal them heal themselves? If Luke did it, or Leia but did it, but that's what I'm saying. You need to see it. No, I need to see that it actually exists, not yeah. that it comes out of nowhere from a character that has barely been a Jedi for five fucking minutes. Well, how long has she been meditating? How long has she been talking? How long has she been trying to do whatever she's, she's doing? She's only trained under Luke for a little bit. She's been mm. by herself for a very long time. It's really under hard Leia. to come up with stuff. <laughs> and Leia did the Heisman and won. Yeah, but that makes sense with Leia. See, I also do like the fact that they at least added some relevance to that scene. For my sake, it's like, okay, at yeah. least it makes sense now, and you've saved it. Okay, so like myself, I thought it's plausible. And again, Ryan Johnson, he made a damn video to show people that this is in the lore. All these, the Force abilities that you're talking about, you may have not seen. If you read the same book Ryan Johnson had, it lists all the Force. Hold on a second. You're going into the uh, the, the, the the road of... Him saying, I liked it. I'm not a huge fan. I never looked at the lore. Yeah. Then now you're saying, well, now you have to go and watch this video from Ryan Johnson and go no. into the lore to understand something in a blockbuster movie. He didn't. Uh, it's a it's a video he did to shut people up because they were questioning everything he was doing. It's like, no, it's in there. I didn't pull this out of my ass. Yeah. You just haven't seen it yet of yourself. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you didn't get into it, but... Maybe you do have to a little bit. But if it's in the lore, that's okay. fine. But it's never established how Ray found out. Hmm. Trading. Doesn't matter, though. It's kind of like... Again. But even like if they did answer it's a the small question, thing. It's, like... it's a small thing, but like lazy stuff like that, it's just lazy. Hmm. You know? It just is. I just don't know. I, I see both sides. It makes it so weird. But I don't know. I don't think it matters. I genuinely don't think this is an issue. That's no, no, no. That, that, like, warrants you know what I thought was really funny, though? I thought I like the fact that everyone goes out of their way to say, oh, they pretty much a big middle finger to Ryan Johnson. I'm like, no. Yeah. It wasn't. Not they only that, no, I, I he think doubled he, down and made The Last Jedi he built a little up, bit better. Yeah, he built, they built on what he already did just to try to help the situation. So what were their points, though? Because I always saw that it was a big... Like, I never understood why it was would be disrespectful so, to Ryan So here's the Johnson. thing. Like, okay, so how uh, Kylo Ren said that Ray's parents are nobodies. Yeah. And... Yeah, they played off that. It's like, they made themselves nobodies. So that was actually very... I thought that was very smart of the way they did it. In fact, Palpatine was like, they were nobodies. Yeah. Because he, he... Clearly, he just, he didn't even regard his kids kid at all. Yeah. Didn't give a flying fuck. So they didn't exist in his mind. Yeah. Did we know which one was his kid out of the, like... The parents? sons. Was it the son? Okay. Yeah. I, I guess, guess I would, uh, The son was the Palpatine. So, yeah. I... Uh, yeah. I think, like, you're right on that. That's the name. Like, yeah. Because when oh, yeah. he's... As far as everyone was concerned, he was a senator... Mm-hmm. For how long? Also, Not knowing he was the Sith Lord. Also, how did Kylo Ren know she had her abilities until he ended up going to that planet and finding Palpatine was there? So he probably thinks they're nobodies. Mm-hmm. And what way to crush? What a way to crush someone's spirit! The only person yeah. that could take you down by making them feel like they're worthless. Well, why would you? Yeah, I'm fighting someone. Hey, your dad is Muhammad Ali. Let's fucking go! Like no. Or I think in, or even when case, 2017 happened, though, firing fucker. when 2017 when we were talking about it, I could have sworn we said, yeah, it's probably just a fake out, and he's just saying that. Oh, for we'll sure. Find out who it is. Like, I don't think anyone actually I, saw yeah, that. Yeah, and he's that's like, oh. the thing. And maybe that was JJ's plan the whole time. Maybe yeah. he had that part of his situation, too, where he'd be like, okay, he's going to make her, he's going to tell her that your parents were nobodies, don't, you're nothing, and that kind of stuff, but just, you might as well join me, and let's do what we need to do. <laughs> um, yeah. But that was one of them. What else was kind of the a... Luke, okay, someone had brought up Luke 
uh, saying a Jedi never throws his lightsaber, and they thought that was a, a dig at him throwing his lightsaber. Mm-hmm. I don't think so, because no. he's a Force ghost now, and he had to go through his own path of rediscovering his yeah. Jedi-ness, and that's why he's like, Jedis don't do that. Clearly recognizing, and he said it in The Last Jedi, I came here to die, mm-hmm. okay? And he was showing that, and whether we all like it or not, that's why he was on that planet, to die, yeah. uh, for the fault of his sins, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you reach that level of self-actualization as he has, then you tell her, a Jedi doesn't throw a lightsaber away. So, I don't know, there was a few of that. I just thought it was funny that most of the reviews that were out there, because I actually saw some for this, um, were just like, I can't believe how they went out of their way to shove it to Ryan Johnson. It's like, no, mm. no, they didn't. It made me like enjoy yeah. The Last Jedi even more. It's yeah. like, okay, cool, this is relevant. Thank also, you. whoever thinks that, stop being so simple-minded. There is a large, large, large machine that these movies channel through mm-hmm. to get to the end. Mm-hmm. So, Star Wars fans are the worst. I don't think so. They're up there. I think also, Star this Wars is the other. This is the other funny thing. I think. Sorry, I cut you off. That's fine. Star, Star Wars and WWE fans, <laughs> fucking hate them. They are the only fans I know mm-hmm. that seem to hate their product more than anyone else. Rough yeah. Rider fans. Isn't that Rider. there was um. Like, no one hates pro wrestling more than Wasn't pro there a movie fans. made about that, too? Almost the fanboys? Was it called Fanboys? For know, Star maybe. Wars, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And these the guys were going after, going to try to find George Lucas and change something? Can't well, remember. no, because I think their friend was dying, and they went, oh, I think, yeah. if I'm Never thinking mind. the same one. Never mind. I'm, yeah. I kind of get it, but also I don't, and I tell anybody that says, oh, the fans are being whatever. Grow the fuck up. Mm. They're just people yelling at yeah. a screen. Like we've, I've seen already enough videos of people making these. I'm never going to review anything from Star Wars mm. again because <laughs> the fans are too harsh. Listen, I, I saw like eight videos like that. Grow up. Mm-hmm. You decided to be to put your opinions out there on video, and now you're going to make a hard stance that you're not going to review Star Wars stuff. Like, mm. fine, don't do it. It doesn't mean you have to make a video about it. Yeah, and make it a thing because all you're doing at that point is getting more content for your channels slash pages slash whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Like like resolutions. Just keep mm-hmm. it to your fucking self. Mm-hmm. I just thought that, but, that, that's been a trend this year. Before we move on, I also want to mention... Oh, you could finish because this is kind of like a segue to like similar but different. Segway. Do you have anything else to add? I was going to say how I think the rise of Skywalker actually kind of vindicates some stuff in The Last Jedi. It vindicates overall. so many things. There's a few like storylines in there that probably don't work, but ultimately, let's say... Uh, some of it will, will helps out. Like, of course, like the whole Marie Tran stuff, whatever. Everyone's up in arms about that, too. It's People like, hated her in The Last Jedi, and then they're complaining that she wasn't a lo- yeah. in, in it in the, in the Rise oh, of Skywalker. Jezzer, I can't remember. I kind of zoned out, but Finn was kind of useless in this, in a way. Right? Finn he was. was. He did nothing. Yeah. Well, he was also useless in the last one. He's uh, been useless. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. He was only useful in The Force Awakens. Yeah. Poe is the most useful person on the entire fucking thing. Basically. I mean, obviously Rey, because she's got Jedi powers, but, but like the non-Jedi people. Mm-hmm. There were three things I disliked, like, that I noticed, that I, like, were, like, noticeable dislikes in Rise of Skywalker. First was that fact that, what was it? Fuck, I had a list. So I know I, this is going to be out of order, because I want to keep it in order, but mm. it was Finn about to tell Rey, I love you, or oh. as JJ says, I'm force sensitive, mm-hmm. which... I don't know if I'm about to die. I'm not gonna be. Hey, I have superpowers and like uh, I don't know. The force is with me. Mm-hmm. Let me pick up this rock. Let me get this list. I have. A, I had a list. Let me yeah. get this. Get your list. Uh, there was the Finn doing that. Mm-hmm. There was Poe admitting defeat and like totally ruining his like you know confidence in his troop and his leading abilities. Yeah. And then he immediately gets saved as soon as he's like, "I'm sorry, guys. I really tried." And then it just makes me like a bitch. Well, that's kind of what happens when you see that you're, everything's getting decimated. I don't know. It just, no. it just seemed like it was like totally ruined out of, for me. And the third one was the Ray Kylo suicide kiss that made ah, no sense. Kind of like the Romeo and Juliet kiss. It exactly was that. And I'm like, that was stupid. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I thought that it would have been better if Kylo just didn't, like he died. He got thrown mm-hmm. into a pit. How the hell did he come back? It's a hole, not a pit. It's a hole, not a pit. It's a hole. Now you get caught on something. Uh, I, I thought that was. Oh, it's actually bit. very shallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I could stand up in here. He well, comes back Papa and, like, got out somehow. That's true too. Yeah. yeah, but I also heard that there were four different endings to this movie. Oh, interesting. Are we gonna get another? J- no, not J- like cut. a cut. This was like. Well, I, I already saw that at uh, post. Someone said like, "Oh, let's get the JJ cut." Apparently, there's so many deleted scenes. Listen, like, 
just put Snyder it with the cut DVD. is coming first. <sighs> <laughs> and then we'll get the Jade. We'll get any other cut after Snyder. You know what? I kind of want the JJ. People want David the... Ayer's cut for Suicide Squad. And that's a lost cause, man. No, Justice that, League. Let's okay. burn that clip. Yeah. No. They're already be, rebooting the franchise. It'd be funny if, the, if a JJ Squad. released a director's cut before. <laughs> it's going to happen, actually. Probably can. But I just... I heard that w- originally... Yeah. I think it was just Ray surviving and okay. Kylo died. Okay. There was fair. one where Kylo and Ray survived. Okay. And then Disney, we got the Disney ending right. where Disney said, no, like, make them kiss uh, to, like, please the sh- fandom the fandom or, like, the shippers. of You know what? La, it's la, 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 Some people would look at that and say, like, oh, that's useless. I'm like, yeah, but they had a genuine connection. The but whole so time she was trying Finn. to, she was trying to, like. Yeah, but Finn isn't force sensitive. Yeah. This is Ray yeah. choosing and selecting, like women have done forever, which mate she wants to be but with. But they kind of set him up, though. She found the one that had the most power, who was most like her. Because he's got the force mm-hmm. too, and yeah, she might have hated him. Yeah, she might have been annoyed by him. Yeah, they might so, try killing each other. So multiple was times. so was Leia and Han. Yeah, and so they weren't big fans of each other, but there was still that connection. I don't know. I just feel like they su- Finn didn't do anything, and that's what made me the like. Did you he, actually care about Finn? I enough? did. I, I Finn I was generally him. one of like the people I liked the most of the Force Awakens. They screwed it up in Last Jedi. I was actually extremely curious to know about how a kid turns into a stormtrooper and what kind of things involve him getting unbrainwashed. Yeah. That's a storyline that if they if they did if they released a show with Finn, which they won't, just I don't think that, he wants to. No, I don't think he wants to either. But it was just that, I'd be like, fuck yeah. That's a great story. Also, the one other change that I, this is the last one I remember was Lando and that one like black clone trooper. Like, yeah, do you want to find your parents? She's like, yeah, yeah, that's his daughter. But they cut the scene out that revealed that. Uh, uh yeah, that's a big theory. Is that true? Is it? No, it is. Be? It's true. Yeah. I, I'm ninety nine percent sure that this was like I read this as a fact. Like this was confirmed. Okay, I'm surprised how they got all those weird giant horse things on top of that ship. That's a yeah. lot of transport. Didn't they, they open up? The transport. But they're in space. They had those transport they things, yeah. Okay. And yeah. They were in space. There was, was a lot. Okay, thing. you know what I thought was a, a little bit off about the movie is that people got to places very quick. very easily and very quickly. Yeah. And like, I don't even know how Ray got. I can say Ray got to the fucking uh, Death Star with the Force. How the fuck did Finn and this girl he's never met show up there? And literally show up exactly where she was. Mm. Meaning that... For her to get up there, there was her going up that pole that was I thought was really cool because it reminded me of the Force Awakens, like mm-hmm. when she like, oh, this is what Ray actually is. Like yeah. she's a she's a scavenger. That was actually from like concept art too. That one scene because I remember that one pole that you just said it. I remember seeing that concept That's, art from 2015. That was either Rogue One or the I think it was also the one where um, uh, Han and Leia or Han and. Luke kissed maybe, which is gross. Hmm. Uh, or th- that's where that thing that she was climbing up on. It was one of the scenes, and I think it was the one where Vader might have told Luke, "I'm your father." Oh. Something along those lines. Yeah, it's one of those. And Luke it, kissed. It, I think you. Might have... oh, sorry, Leia. Oh, I was Leia. gonna say what did Leia I miss? and what? Luke. <laughs> Leia and Luke kissed as oh. they roped across the mm, yes. thing in the in a New Hope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, go up there, and then fight herself. Which obviously Finn wasn't going to do that. But from there, they ended up on top of that thing. So I don't know how the fuck he ended up there. It's like they didn't know what to do with him, but they needed to have him on there. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of shitty. If I was Finn, like if I was John Boyega, I'd be like, yeah, you kind of did me dirty a little bit. Mm -hmm. Shits. This kind of sucks because you just placed him in spots. He's just like a lost puppy. And he yelled the whole time. He's like Tyrese from the Fast and Furious movies where all he does is yell. And like, I don't know. I think it's just... Like, stop yelling, man. Well, Mm. all you're doing is yelling. And all he did was yell Ray's Mm -hmm. name eight times. Which is why. If he was Force-sensitive and he truly was going to tell Ray he was Force-sensitive, it led to nothing. That moment, whatever he was going to say, led to nothing because they never Mm -hmm. revealed it. Mm -hmm. Right. I would say him actually being Force-sensitive, like, becoming Mm Force-sensitive is very interesting. The fact that, like, it's in almost everybody to... Feel it. They just have to believe enough. Well, he used a lightsaber, and the, like in the Force Awakens, set it up where like this would not be like out of nowhere. He's Force sensitive. Well, like, what? And he knows how to use a weapon. Like mm-hmm. he fought that one yeah. uh, stormtrooper with that spike also, thing. Was or whatever. Captain Plasma Phasma? Was she even in this? No, no she did. Died. She, she, did she died. Die? That's Jedi. it. She died in the Last Jedi. Remember? Oh, I thought she was like it wasn't. Oh, combat. she's dead. But I honestly think she had two minutes. No, I think she had about four minutes between both those movies. And she right. was hyped up in Force Awakens. Very like, much. There so. was like dolls and shit. 
She was dope. And then she also I think that's probably just because of Gwendolyn Stacy. Yeah, or but Christy, I, re- I, I really wish that she would have been like a little bit more prominent. Yeah, man. Well, that was like the Boba Fett. And then he just, again, like, I guess Boba Fett didn't really do anything. That's true, too. Until the last, last one? Return. Maybe. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Well, now moving on. Moving on to other stuff. I got I to gotta make this happen. Okay. For everybody who hasn't heard it a thousand times, because we have. No, it's not the intro. This is the one of the most popular the songs out song, there. Basically, like his theme song as Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Where is it? 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 I need to get the chorus going. Here it is. This is like the song that everyone's all up into because of The Witcher. The game was getting played more than it was originally. Now I'm replaying it. Oh, there you go. I do want to watch this one now. Not now, but like next. Oh man, this song's so good. I learned how to play yeah, it. You on, better watch it. On, it's yeah, it's awesome. Okay, you Netflix might li- Game of Thrones. Hold on, hold on. You might like it or you might hate it because they do some things wrong in it. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we're not going to spoil anything because you haven't seen it yet. I know. Well, I notice it's wrong though. You will be well, confused as fuck okay. until you watch it the second time. And I think that is... Um, yeah. That, okay, so the, the the story is based off the book The Last Wish and plus an amalgamation of other stories. The three main characters, Geralt, Yennefer, and Ciri. Ciri isn't born in The Last Wish, okay? Yennefer is centuries old, and Geralt's like 110 years old or something like mm-hmm. that. The story kind of covers that part, and I said it in the one podcast where it's about the Butcher of Blaviken, mm-hmm. and literally after our last podcast, I went home, it was that exact scene. Yeah. The choreography in this first episode is just unbelievable. Yeah. His like, fighting style is really very good. fast. Paced. Is that the one where he like shoves a sword through someone's face? Yeah. I saw that scene. Oh yeah, yeah. there's. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, man. That's the one. And that's where he becomes the butcher of Blaviken. He's like kind of. Um, he's tricked into fighting um, the citizens. No, he yeah, he's, he kind of ends up being cornered to fight the citizens, and then mm-hmm. they label him a butcher. The thing is, is that because Siri isn't alive during this time period, technically in the books, they introduce her with timeline jumps. So it actually goes ahead like. 12, 20 years or whatever, if I remember correctly. And then it goes back and forth and back, and it jumps around. They, Aside from a couple of things that you might pick up, because my like it, it, you don't know where you're at all the time. No. So a lot of times you're like, what the hell is this? I just saw X person do X thing, and now mm-hmm. they're not doing the thing and whatever. It'll eventually click in halfway that, oh, Something's off with the timeline. Is it supposed to be like that, or is it? Yeah, it okay. was. It was purposely done. They just didn't do it well. Mm-hmm. And I've been saying this uh, before, like because obviously we haven't done the podcast since because yeah. uh, I watched episode half of episode one since last uh, since the last one. All they needed to do, in my opinion, is change Geralt's facial hair and every timeline. Why? Because oh. us as viewers care about mm-hmm. Henry Cavill's unreal yeah. as Geralt. Mm-hmm. Not only that, the author. Of the books is like just like Aragorn yeah. is. He's like this is Geralt now, and he will forever be. And he's fucking right. He's really good. Um, good for Henry Cavill. Got oh Superman man, unlock. Now he's this guy, iconic character. Oh dude, and like if they just would have made his beard, and it would have been a kind of a throwback to some of the games, like at least The Witcher Three. I haven't played The Witcher or um, The Witcher Two. Do mm-hmm. you plan to now? Is it on PS4? Like no, I've actually seen them in video game movie form, like where someone's oh, taking yeah. the cutscenes and some whatever. So I've actually seen them. They look really good. Um, I th- those were just PC. Anyways, I'm playing The Witcher Three now, but in that, your facial hair grows throughout the game, right? Mm-hmm. If you shave it clean, it'll start to grow, um, or you can get haircuts and stuff. So they could have pulled that from the game and mm-hmm. been like, "Oh, he's not just the same yeah. hair the whole time." I wonder. I think it was probably done on purpose. They didn't. So like, they didn't want you to figure out the time jumps until it became probably obvious. Like, because when I watched it the second time around, like I said, I think the first season, uh, there was first I episode. There, I think it must have been the first episode for sure, or second episode. What did I, what did I message you? Uh, for one of the first two episodes. What happened? The did, you uh, go ahead like, with, I'll, with Renfrey. The that's conver- first episode. Okay, so first episode. This he has a conversation with this chick in the woods, but then there's another thing happening somewhere else. With Siri, 
Mm. And she's in it too, and they're talking and stuff like that. So it's mm-hmm. like they're talking about the same thing, but in a very different context of mm. when it happened. So that's the first indication. I was like, holy shit. I'm like, if you pay attention, you could probably pick it up. But if you're just watching for the sake of, okay, I'm trying to p- f- uh, feel out these characters, I'm trying to feel out the story. And then it all starts kind of piecing itself together because, yeah. And then you realize it's spread out over hundreds of years, kind of thing. You no, know I'm I'm actually I'm actually glad I know that going into my first watch. Yeah, it's not so it, it's like yeah, it's I not told, a spoiler. It's yeah, just no. you know what it would have been it's interesting something that you pick up mm-hmm. if you See, can. And that's why I think your point of oh they didn't want you to know the timeline. Yeah, that's silly to me mm-hmm. because you should be able to watch the show. Right. Like there's one thing about being creative, but. Being creative and nobody knowing what the hell is going on, yeah, that's nothing. That's like that's like telling an inside joke for friends that aren't even in the room. No one's laughing, yeah, and it doesn't make it funnier that you only know it, right? So, I really like the season. I it was eight understand episodes. it's eight episodes. I understand its issues. I still think they miscast Yennefer, but I like the actress, like the attitude that the actress has because yeah. it's got that vibe to it. They horribly miscast Tris Marigold. Yeah, like not even close. She's not even be, close uh, in terms. A redhead. First of all, she's a redhead. Mm. Uh, she looks like a like a ginger redhead. She looks Irish. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, also, the show like the show is Polish. Like this is like a staple in in Polish culture. Oh. Um, like the character itself. No, or no, like, like the, the lore. Like okay. the, the authors mm-hmm. from Poland. Like this is like mm-hmm. this is like Poland. He, pull, he Game pulled of from Thrones. that kind of stuff mm-hmm. that he knows. Yeah. Yeah. So. But not only that, her attitude is not even close to what Tr- like Triss is, like Triss is like confident. Triss is a like a worthy opponent to anybody. She is an incredible maid. She's like, she's just yeah, like she's just really good, man. And like mm-hmm. there in this one, she's just kind of just spends but like she's got very limited screen time, but mm-hmm. it still bothered me enough. Siri looks pretty good actually, like for the age that she's at. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? This I'll might be work pretty good. Be interesting if they stick with the actress and kind of wait out. She might have a growth spurt because she's if she's yeah. at, she's probably actually in her late teens. I would say so. I would and, say yeah. And she's so. and she's paying a 12 year old. So by the time she needs to pay a 20 year old, she'll be closer to 30. Yeah. And Jennifer, even though the, like she doesn't even look like at least she's not even close to the look. Mm. I think she's as as the as it jumped to certain time periods, uh, she was very much like a, a Honestly, Yennefer. Honestly, you that probably like, needed a Kate Beckinsale look. Because we've said that already. That's we, exactly. I've showed you that photo like a hundred times. Yeah. Look wise, Kate Beckinsale. However, attitude wise, she there was a couple episodes there. Where I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is very. She does a good job. She, she's yeah, she's good. So I like. I don't want them to recast her right now. They won't. Anyway, but no, if you there's some really it. cool stuff in there. Um, some really good fights. There is, like, because it's, it's politics and monsters, mm-hmm. right? Um, but anyways, yes, that's our, that's the quick Witcher review. Yeah. Watch I would it. say watch I it will twice. Be yeah. This is not like we'll I, I do will a f- and I won't. Yeah. This is I will, I will. <laughs> so before we get into the big ass list, um, you said Cats is actually a disaster. Oh, yeah, it's awful. Like as bad as everyone says it is. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm not going to lie to you. Shat on for making. I it. Underst- I did not understand ninety five percent of the movie, mm-hmm. and that's literally I could not understand what they were singing or oh, saying. Perfect. I just stood there and I was just watching the last song or the second last, like magical Mister Mistopheles. Like me and my coworkers, we had like about five go. We just started singing in the theater because it was empty and it was pretty fun. Like it's a, it's been stuck in my head mm-hmm. for a while. But I actually enjoy it. Like I stand by it. There, I liked one song. Yeah. But overall, yeah. As my manager keeps saying to every single person, it's a magnificent train wreck. Nice. You don't you really just can't get turn away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I saw it for Yikes. free, so like I would not pay to see it. Free? Yeah. Okay. Sure. It was fun. It's like there. And it's just funny because the the Broadway musical is just like it's made four billion. It's it's done amazing. It's massive. I don't know how they haven't been able, why they weren't able to translate it nicely to screen. Because Maybe some things it, just work that way. It probably never needed. I was to. watching the like studio pitch or whatever. Yeah. And there, this exact same conversation. Like I don't know if it translate well. What well, made four billion dollars? Oh, I might as well give it a shot then. Like no. But uh, I yesterday at work this couple like this like or like my age they were on a date they want to see cats 30 minutes later i'm walking around the, like just doing theater checks they walk out so can we get a refund I'm like cats <laughs> yeah the girlfriend's like i'm sorry man we had no idea like acting like it was like this whole issue like we had no idea it was how bad it was I'm like yeah just go to the counter man it's okay it's, it's quick 
Yeah, That's it's nice. awful. It's not doing well. <laughs> and, it, and it shouldn't. It looks super And they patched stupid. it. Apparently, they updated the graphics. Yeah, literally a day after this. Didn't notice. First day. It was like Silliness. my manager had it Christmas Day, and I had no idea. I can't imagine the effects is what's causing this to suck so much. I, there's got to be more to it. Okay, so no it one cares. It must be the acting. Here's the... I'll tell you. This movie... Until I watched this like little comedy sketch on screen rant or like the movie pitch, yeah. no idea what it's about. Okay. Perfect. So what it is, is there's these jellical cats. And no Jellical or angelical? No, jellical. Okay. They never explain what it means. They huh? only it's like all the time they say it, but they never explain it. Okay. I assume angelical, like that's what I thought too, but uh all these cats are in a contest and whoever wins dies. Perfect. So they get reincarnated into a better life. But it's really weird no. because Idris Elba plays a cat who's like super powerful, like has a great life, and he's like trying to die so bad. So it's mm. like the whole point is to die in this movie, and it's that's dark. It. Listen, Idris Elba once said that uh, going from going from playing Nelson Mandela in the one movie to mm-hmm. being Heimdall in Thor: The Dark World mm-hmm. was one of the most excruciating things in the world. I think he can retract that statement. Why the fuck did he sign up for this I, movie? I need to know how much do they pay everyone? Because yeah. so like, no, what's his name? Uh, Magneto or Sir Ian Sir Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen. McKellen. He was in there. Yikes! Taylor yeah. Swift, and it was weird because she had boobs. I didn't know why. I, fa- I, I saw Taylor Swift Cats on screen. Cats don't have boobs. None of them did. Like very few. But Taylor Swift came, and she was like, I'm "Like, oh, I know she kind of looks hot." I'm like, why do I think that? And then every, <laughs> every other girl, like every other cat, was just flat. I'm like, what the fuck? Unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah, if Idris Elba complains about another role, I'm just like, everyone's was, just gonna be like, you dude, did cats, dude. Cats was, I they must have spent a lot because there's no way they got that many. Like there was lots of high end. Jason, whatever his name is, no, like the singer Jason Derulo. Uh oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah he That's was also in there. Stupid. Fucking, Just Jennifer Hudson is in it. They had so many. Yeah, there's there's way too many. At- uh, Jane, Dame Judy, Judy Dench was in it. Oh yeah, like what the Mike hell, Myers. Man? No word of a lie. If Cat in the Hat walked in, he would fit in. That's he would yeah, like I've it would not even be weird to see him in that movie. It's like oh yeah, he looks Tower. like. I've only seen stills, and that's that's oh. as far as I'm ever gonna go. I will never watch that movie. James Corden's in it. Yeah, James Corden. Rebel Wilson. Like, come on, man! All these people are good. What are you doing? Yeah, but all James Corden, Rebel James Wilson Drew. did was play. Well, the James movie. Corden is in James. Corden. They just played the classic Ray fat Winstone? character, Ray and they Heath just. Who? Ray Winstone. Who's Ray Winstone? He played. I'll tell you what he played. What do you know about Ray he Winstone? He was uh, Mr. French in The Departed. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, what I don't know what he's he... doing in there. They must have They must have had something. Like, they must have had a sex tape with a cat on all of these actors and actresses to be like, you guys are doing cats. We don't want to. Oh, yeah? They had those two, the, the twins guys, the... Don't know who they are. Bourgeois brothers. Oh, I had one They're more in the dancing room. I had one more note about The Witcher, and I think it's hilarious that first of all, the showrunner, she's like she's handling everything really well. Like yep. people are criticizing the show and everything like that, and she's just like, Screw you guys. Wasn't like, it the critics that awesome. were bashing on it and they never actually saw it? That okay, so the big one was Entertainment Weekly. Yeah. Didn't watch the actual show. They even said in the review that they didn't even watch a full episode and they skipped through because they said it was so ex- quote unquote excruciating and they then they reviewed it as an F and it's like you, guys you can't do that <laughs> do your job watch yeah. the show you guys are almost as bad as like the the reporters at Time Magazine who don't get paid or reportedly don't get paid and reporters but reporting I don't on understand reporters. how could they funny. say it was so bad they couldn't watch it and they when didn't that's watch literally it. their job yeah and that they get paid to watch a show. And the it's show, not, yeah. It's not hard work. You're sitting down and watching yeah. and like taking note that you like or don't like it. Fuck. And the showrunner, she went at them. And good for her, man. Well, I hope she's do still. you guys like it? Like, what would you rate it out of ten? I think I said seven point five. Did you see that picture? Witcher? I put, I put seven point five. Um, I, I think that I think that timeline distinguishing is a huge game changer yeah. because when I told people, like when I told Ethan that, he's like, dude, he's like, you're right. Like, I should have known this going in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd probably give it an, the eight point five an extra point higher, just because after hearing like the, I don't like when they miscast people either. It's like just stick to what the character's supposed to be. Well, you don't know any better because you haven't played the game. No, but that's fine. But let's say I find out after I'm like 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 I did find out after that. Oh, because I kept hearing oh Tris was miss. Uh, I'm like okay, what's the point? And then I looked up and then yeah, she's she's supposed to be a uh, a redhead with very fair skin, 
And here you have this uh, exotic woman with dark hair. I think they tried to do a little red in there. But Yennefer is completely off except for her eyes. Yennefer's and off except for her eyes. Her black hair at best, but it's Raven not, hair. And yeah. Raven hair, and that's it. But her face and complexion just doesn't really match what's going on. Eva Green was another one I thought could work it. But. She would have been really good. Yeah. yeah, she would have been really good. But like for so to your point, yeah. my, what I would combat your point with is the fact that if you would, if you, like, for me playing the game, let's say, yeah. and having experienced like Triss the world, in that yeah. world, not reading the books. Again, I stress, yeah. I haven't read the books. I've seen both the video game, quote unquote, movies that someone spliced on YouTube, and I played the game. I'm actually going through my second run through now. Mm-hmm. Like I started it over again, just like the hundreds of thousands of other people that mm-hmm. are doing it. Yeah. So, in terms of Triss just being in the show, yeah. did you like her character? Just she was kind of useless. She didn't do much. No. Okay, but. It like for somebody that had no idea, like Soph had no idea, and so she had no comment on it. Yeah. Right? When I get to that point in the game though, I'm gonna show her, I'm like, this is what Tris is. The second she saw Yennefer, she's like, Oh, she's not even close. <laughs> but yeah. it was like a brief thing. Yeah. Uh anyways, yes. Okay. Let's get to this list. We're at an hour ten. One last thing I want to mention. Oh, it's yes, just a quick please. thing. Oh. Really funny is that Disney Plus is losing so many subscribers After. and they're all mentioning that it's because of the Mandalorian's over and there's nothing to do. They said that about Game of Thrones. How many did HBO actually lose? No, like, I don't but know. But HBO Disney has enough Plus. content yeah. of its own that it, it can sustain it, whereas Disney Plus, this is all it has. For and now. For now. For me, the, I really won't. I really Disney think Plus they should have. It's fine that they released the Mandalorian when they did, but they should have had something within a week or two to Which release Which is probably after. why WandaVision got moved up. So then no, we're should. having WandaVision early 2020, and then Falcon and Winter Soldier should be later 2020, because they're both coming out the same year. Have they filmed WandaVision? Because I, I know they no filmed... I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Because they haven't really... They actually Winter don't Winter. actually have like a month or anything detailed of when it's coming out. Mm-hmm. They just know it's 2020, and that's it. What they needed to do is... Wait. Well, what they need to do is, is, first of all, wait. What they needed to do is also wait. But they need to wait for all the contracts and the other streaming services to go so they can take all of their shit. Mm-hmm. Because they still have all like the Disney stuff on there. Like yeah. they've got a bunch of stuff on there. I watched a Little Mermaid on Sunday, and it was quite awesome. On Netflix? No, on oh, um, Disney. on Disney Plus. Um, they should have. They should have definitely waited. Rolled out the Avengers box set. Make money off that. Make the yeah. movies. Like get get the shows going, and then release Disney Plus with first the Mandalorian, then another sh- like just have them overlap like that. Where so let's say you're halfway through Mandalorian, and guess what? Boom, first episode of WandaVision or whatever. Halfway through that, boom, this, this. And then it's like, oh, shit, I'm at a backlog again, like I'm usually going to do. Yeah. But then it just keeps, what it does is it rolls over, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I think that would have been a better one as opposed to being like, no, we're here at the front. Here's all our stuff. It's like, yeah, but we've already seen these a thousand times. Yeah. The only thing they've done is they they do release more of their their hits every mm-hmm. every week, I think, or every yeah. month at least. Because yeah. I've noticed every time I've gone in there, there's always like some extra stuff going on there. So it's not bad. It's not useless. At the end of the day, I don't understand why people are cutting their subscriptions. I'm pretty sure you paid for the year. If you're smart, do you would have gotten the discount and paid for the year. I didn't. I'm paying monthly. Why wouldn't you just pay for the year? It's cheaper. I didn't want to, man. I wanted to buy this thing. As year sixty? No, it's per, the to pay for the year up front. They offer it was like a, yeah, it's like it two was, months off. Yeah, it's basically two you save two months off. So and it's like what eight bucks a month? No, man, I wanted I to get know. it's eight ninety nine. I wanted to get this fucking thing right away, and I'm glad I did. I'm, okay. It's eight dollars and ninety nine cents hey, man, a month. I don't give a shit. As opposed to like what it made sense was. to me. It would have been like a hundred and some dollars right out of the bat, right off the bat. Mm. So Christmas coming up, man. I got presents to buy. Shit to do. Dinners to go to. Okay, let's get to this shit list. Shit to eat, shit to poop. Hold on. Oh, are we doing the Star Wars? We should uh, do the Star Wars one first, or we should have done that first. Okay, rank it. Okay, I wrote down mine. I rank Empire first. Rise second. Yep, I did it. So this is what I did, and this is That's my... That's Rise a second for me as well, just we're on the same Here, page. Here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, no, Here, I'm here's, surprised. I'll tell you going. my justification. No, you don't have to justify anything. No, I will just go through the list. Revenge. Okay. Force Awakens. Uh-huh. New Hope. Uh-huh. Last Jedi, uh-huh. Phantom, uh-huh. Return, uh-huh. and Clone Wars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll put it close to that. So for me. Wait, you put Return of the Jedi just second after last. second last? Yep. Oh, damn. So I we I saw a bit of Wasn't Revenge of the Sith, like the final fight, like recently, because I haven't seen a lot of the prequels in the years. Yeah. That's so cool. accurately, I won't go into like, I will say my favorite of all time is Force Awakens. Okay. Okay. And then Rise of Skywalker would be second. Okay. But like I would say I like the sequel trilogy the most. Mm-hmm. Original 
prequel. But overall, I got, they're all I. So what I them. did in my thing before you get into yours is I basically did, went by each one mm-hmm. and I ranked it one mm-hmm. out of the three for each, and then that's how I kind of went through my list after that, and then just stuff like Phantom got better be- only for the fact that Darth Maul was in it, and that fight scene was probably the best thing that kicked off mm-hmm. that whole movie. The rest of the movie was kind of a mess. Obviously, Jar Jar was horrible, but. We saw a lot more better fort like uh, lightsaber fights mm-hmm. than you did in the original trilogy, which well, I liked. Boom, boom, exactly. Boom, was back that flips. right uh, that way right away for me, I liked it, and it was the kickoff. So I don't know. Well, Revenge of the Sith is the longest sword fight in like film, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Gee, let's see your rank. Huh? It's still, I don't know. Okay, maybe not. Um, really, I. It's like I have the first one and the last one, and I kept thinking about it this week, and they kept moving around. Empire Strikes Back is my first. Mm -hmm. And I also think that Empire Strikes Back is also the reason why Infinity War is the best one out of all the Avengers, except from like the first one is a tough I like Infinity War the best, too. Yeah, it is better than Endgame for the very same reason why Empire is better than Return of the Jedi. Because the heroes lose. Yeah, it's there's an, there's something like powerful when it hits that you feel when that happens. It's well, great when, when they win, but man, it hurts when, when you've it seen lose. 20 movies of them just winning. And it's like, oh, it is a big one. They're going to do it. And they lost so fast. When you watch that movie, you're like, this all happened so fast. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Empire is number one. <laughs> Empire is number one, okay? Yeah. And then uh, Clone Wars is number nine. Okay. And then Revenge of the... Or Attack s- of the Clones. Attack, Attack of the Clones, yeah. sorry. Um, and then I'm going... A New Hope is second. Okay. And then I would say... Honestly, it goes Empire, New Hope, Return of the Jedi. Then it starts getting mixed up. I'll go Force Awakens. Then I'll go Rise of Skywalker. Maybe Last Jedi. Yeah, it's they're all broken up in those things because I think that the the prequels trilogy. So you just is kept just the terrible. trilogies. Yeah, that's what yeah. it's ending up. With See, I like me. Revenge overall. I want to see, where did you have Force Awakens again? I had it fourth or fifth. Yeah, fourth. Okay. See, for me, it goes this. Original trilogy is first. So, it, yeah, original trilogy is first. And then it goes Empire, New Hope, and then um, uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And then, then it goes the new trilogy, which is Force Awakens, Rise of Skywalker, Last Jedi. And then it goes prequels. Revenge of the Sith. Uh I would say Revenge of the Sith. No, no, it wouldn't be oh. Revenge of the Sith. No, because mm-hmm. uh, Anakin, old Anakin really irks me. So it would be young, annoying Anakin because of the pod, pod racing and the fight scene with Darth Maul, for sure. Yeah, and Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon yeah. Jinn is unreal. Liam Neeson. He wants to come back. Good. And apparently, he uh, might be for an Obi-Wan. That'd be sweet. And then so then it would go uh, Phantom Menace. Then it would go uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Uh, and then it'll go Clone Wars. Because let's not forget, Revenge of the Sith ended with... The best scene ever. <laughs> Do you want to, I, so this was hype because I saw a YouTube video on this. And it was a... Cl- so if you rewatch that scene like where he gets the mask on, yeah, literally right before the mask close, if you listen closely, you hear him say, Padme, help. And then boom, shuts. Oh. That is a little bit more interesting. But then he says... No. And then someone also did that. And they said, because it's a translator... He just screamed, and like they doesn't know what the screaming is, so it just goes no. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine doing that? Like, <gasps> I'm sorry. Ah, no. <laughs> like a huge scream for that. It's like this your is hand the worst gets cut off. Effort. Ah, no. Ow, ow! It hurts me so much. Um, I don't actually know we're gonna be able to get through that. that I would list. say we should waste wait for that one because that's gonna be. Yeah, we'll leave it till next. Best year, and worst so. of 2019, quickly. Of 2019, okay, we it. can do that. Yeah, Best, I don't do really it. have. Worst was Cats. Best, I don't like. You there's suck. No, yeah, I guess you suck. No cats. movie really stood out for being the best. Like, whether well, it was amazing to me. I would say Joker for me this year because I haven't seen a lot of movies. Joker definitely. I don't know, man. It it really it really hit and it hit hard. So I, I would definitely say that. Okay, I would say I guess out of all them all, Joker would be like the best. I yeah. would agree with that point. And then. Yeah, because I mean, Once Upon a Time was great. Irishman was great. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of really good movies that came out this mm-hmm. year. Like, this is, this is why I was kind of suggesting like you almost have to break them up a bit because like 
the top movie I, is, I, is is kind of for me for myself it's difficult because I like different genres. Uh, like okay, Joker's great for as a art piece, a drama piece for sure. Mm-hmm. But to me, I don't compare it to let's say Avengers Endgame. It's a totally different mm-hmm. ball game in my opinion, even though mm-hmm. it's the same, within the same year. Because I enjoyed both equally yeah. differently though. So That's it's like hard. to me, I almost have to do like a top three and like you know the. And we're kind of talking about this before. It's like you almost have to break it up, like top comedy, mm-hmm. top like drama, like art they piece. Do the Oscars, you mean? Exactly. Yeah, we got to do an Oscar, the and F then you got to do like top yeah. top mainstream movie kind of thing, and you got to do it like that in a way because yeah, you got bro. here like you know Endgame, like which was a huge mm-hmm. uh, accomplishment at the end of the day, and then but uh, it's a it's a huge accomplishment. But what about what it did for you on a personal level, like? Because I, I, for me, Spider Man Far From Home, that scene alone where he harnesses his spider tingle, like yeah. where he gets that. Don't you say that. That was a that was a actually tingy. like it's Peter tingle. and and Peter the tingle. scene. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> and the thing with Magneto or Mysterio, like yeah. doing the illusions, that took me back to like when I was a kid. What like that was a very visceral moment. However, out of mm-hmm. all of them, the Joker made me feel like I teared up. I got super anxious. Like. What it did there, I would say, is more than Cap lifting Mjolnir and Portal showing up, even though Portal is an amazing score and it's, the set piece was amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But there's something about Joker that just as a feeling, when you're leaving the theater, I think there's there's a way to do it where it's it transcends the actual genre and it's just like, this is what I felt, boom, that's it. No other movie made me feel this way. Mm-hmm. But does it make what you're saying wrong because it's not wrong at all no in fact it's the most logical because yes you can't it's like are you comparing apples to apples because they're movies or are you comparing apples to lug nuts because they're not even in the same ballpark exactly that's how i see it but i understand 100 percent what you're saying it's hard man because it's really hard yeah straight up feeling see i enjoyed joker i just didn't get the exact same feeling you got out of it. that's fair i got it more i would say um out of all these, I don't know, honestly. There's quite a few. So this so, sucks. Go for it. But the best theater experience I would say of 2019 yeah. mm-hmm. was my first viewing of Rise of Skywalker. Oh, okay. that's sweet. Like, Endgame was hype, but like I came in with very low hopes for this one. And I was, I fucking, I still love it. I want to see I, it one more time. I would theaters. say feel-wise, Aladdin. Hmm. Oh, you it really brought me it, back eh? yep, because it was one. one of those things where you don't know how it's going to come out and then Lion King was the opposite end of the spectrum. I was like I wanted that to be great and it just bombed for me. Oh yeah. But Aladdin it hit the mark. Mm-hmm. There was only a few things I didn't like but overall that one made me feel like that brought me back to my childhood. And then John Wick 3 was another one that Oh, that's so good. So it's like this is a tough list. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I didn't I see it until after John Wick 3 yeah. and I never finished it. Really? Like Dude. a week ago. I will say John Wick 3 indulges in itself quite a bit for sure a little bit too much much. yeah i could see that it's like all right this needs to end yeah a minute ago like we've done this this is cool i love all this but we need to move on uh yeah it could have been it could have been at least 10 minutes shorter Mm -hmm. um your worst you said was cats and your best was rise of skywalker well just worse like overall but cats like i went in with cats like i didn't walk out mad like i knew it was me garbage i went in for a good time but like yeah objectively it was the worst movie i'd seen of 2019 Ad Astra. You didn't Brad like Pitt. it with Brad Pitt? It's horrible. I it was the most it, boring so. piece of shit I've ever <laughs> seen, and it reminded me of Gravity. You didn't like a, Gravity? It was a boring space movie where, like, space movies, you got to hit the mark pretty good, to be honest. Like, if it's just mm. space, like humans going to space kind of thing, not Star Wars space kind of thing. Have you seen 2001 A Space Odyssey? I have. See, and that's good. It's amazing. That's a huge accomplishment. But it's a slow burn, man. See, Ad Astra was a slow burn with nothing. It was useless. I fell asleep pretty much through it. And actually, we got me and uh, a friend of mine. We I think I mentioned this. We I got basically shot out by like uh, the local radio, mm-hmm. uh, the guy who does reviews of things. Like yeah, two guys were like falling, fell asleep. That was, that was me and me. oh Brett. Yeah, I think he he's mentioned. It's like yeah, that was us. I'm like yeah, we fucking That's passed funny. out because it was it was garbage, man. It was just so useless. Um, so I would say. Ad Astra is my worst of the year, mm-hmm. and the best is I'm, I'm gonna go for the obvious one, Endgame. I like the the okay. best. And then you said Rise and Cats. Well, I guess Captain Marvel, like on the disappointment scale, was like this is just mediocre. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't say it's all. Like, I it wasn't I the worst, it. but yeah. it just yeah, it was a like for like yeah, it was just disappointing. <laughs> Honorable mention <laughs> for disappointed. Yeah, I would go Joker as my top. Mm-hmm. 
and this is a battle for this is actually a battle between Lion King and Captain Marvel because I think Captain Marvel is the biggest piece of shit. But but I think you well, kind of went into Captain Marvel disliking it. Lion King, you no, wanted no, no. to like. I went out of my way to try to find something to like about Captain Marvel. Like, more than I have every other movie. Because I didn't want to come across as too biased because I've already went on a rant at how how much I, uh, like, hate Brie Larson for her taking something that's not hers and making it about her and whatever false stance she wants to stand on. And I thought it was just stupid. On top of the fact that the movie itself decided to try to rewrite history literally th- mm, before no. the end game just to make Captain Marvel come across as more important than she actually was. That's why nobody wanted it. That's why nobody cared about it because mm-hmm. it's like, dude, you could have released this after Ultron and we would have been perfectly fine. But I think that was the plan too. Like it was actually, yeah, at the end of Age of Ultron, there was a Captain Marvel stand in originally. Was there? Yeah, like I you know when they had the whole new Avengers bullshit. I guess so, yeah, maybe. Like where he's going to say oh, Avengers, like Avengers and yeah, then it stops. She was yeah. going to be there. I, you know what? Like, I would have been fine with that. Like back then, that would have made sense. Mm-hmm. But, or, but even then, it wouldn't because if they still introduced the fucking cat thing, then it would have ru- it did what it did. It ruined Sam Jackson. So, when, like, that's why stuff like that really pisses me the fuck off. And when I know the motive behind it, and the fact that Brie Larson's like they released a Time article magazine on how Brie Larson is going to take Captain Marvel and carry the weight of uh, Marvel on her shoulders and stuff. Fuck off, man. We don't actually want you. Gal Gadot is doing that for DC and no one gives a shit. Because Gal Gadot is the coolest. Mm -hmm. She is, and also uh, Elizabeth Olsen, the coolest Mm -hmm. and the strongest. And, like, you don't have to be a bitch to get people to like you. Black Widow. Like, uh, Black Widow. Yeah, everyone loves Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm. I think she's awesome. I think that movie, I'm really hoping that movie's going to be good. I think it'll be really good, actually. But I, I do think, though, even though I fucking hate Captain Marvel and it will always be a 0 out of 10 for me even though I gave it a higher score because I thought I was going to be nice but the more I think about it the more I hate it uh, Lion King mm-hmm. definitely my least favorite because it disappointed me so yep I was, I'm not angry I'm just disappointed I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm full anger on Captain Marvel I'm thoroughly disappointed with Lion King mm-hmm. That movie, that movie means a lot to me personally. Not that I made it or anybody made it for me, but I have like such strong connections, and it just, it just failed, and it failed hard, and that's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm really excited for Black Widow oh, yeah. because I know I'm counting this. I think this will be Marvel's Wonder Woman. Mm. Like this will be Marvel's truly, like not only financially successful, but critically like. Among fans as well, we're like, "Yep, this is good. We like this." Mm-hmm. Not just, I "Yeah, we so. have to like this because you know, yeah. like, we'd be called fucking anti-feminists." Yeah, you mean like anybody that doesn't like Captain Marvel, yeah. they're pegging them out. Yeah, no, fuck all that. Fuck all that shit. Um, Captain Karen. Captain Karen oh, getting Captain. punched in the fucking face while Scarlet Witch tears shit up. She looks like a stormtrooper. In that Who, trailer. Captain Marvel? No, oh. Scarlet. Yeah. With her, oh, with not, the Scarlet, white? not Scarlet, not uh, Scarlet. Scarlet Johansson. Yeah, the oh, white. Yeah, 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 the white. She looks like a stormtrooper. Like she's a stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah, I, I, misses everything. She's yeah. gonna, ah, shit. she's gonna kick so much ass. Um, I, I'm, I really hope that movie's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Okay, that's it. March? Is it March or I May? It's coming yeah, up pretty quick. Up nice. Yep. All right, Bad Boys comes out this month too. Yeah, the seventeenth, a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Birds of Prey comes out next month. Oh man, and it's like I'm oh, look, I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm I'm legitimately like I'm going low be... hopes, and I'm I think I will be surprised. I I think I I genuinely think I'm going very low hopes. I just hope I like it. I mean, kind of high hopes. All right, that's it. End of our first episode of 2020. Um. As usual, and we're not changing anything, it's as uh, all over the place as we like it, because that's how we like it. Um, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's all. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at the F word. Uh, you're still doing your lazy Canadian stuff on yep. Instagram as well. Uh, we're going to try to think of some more creative stuff to do. I have an idea for the next. So I was going to pitch this afterwards, but uh, you know that guy did Hereditary? Yeah. He did another movie. Jumanji. That apparently no, that's Jumanji. The kid from Hereditary was in. Ju- oh, the director. Oh, the director, yeah. Sorry, he did another like horror movie that apparently super fucked up, and it's on oh. DVD now. So we could do a reaction video like we did for that one Spanish one. Okay, 
Okay, okay. Also, the next one by request from Arturo, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We doing it? We're, we're okay. going to do it one of these days, yeah. It's going to be hilarious. Um, yeah, uh, make sure you can email us at theeffortpodcast at gmail.com, even though nobody does. Uh, you can find us pretty much go to Instagram, and we got that link tree there now. It's got everything. I think there's like five links to other like Pocket Cast and Cast Breaker, Breaker, whatever. Mm. But you can pretty much find us almost everywhere now. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm G. I'm Anthony. I'm Bass. Happy New Year again. We look forward to another wonderful year with you. And uh, thanks for stopping by. We're out. Mm-hmm.